winter storm warning in effect for heavy snow. Those planning travel in the warned area should be prepared for hazardous conditions and plan accordingly. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to rig a rappel extension uh, for when you're in the mountains so you can be pretty quick when you get to your next anchor. Um, the first thing you want to start with is a double shoulder length nylon runner. Um, you want to make sure it's nylon and not Dyneema or Spectra. Nylon has some shock absorbing qualities and it does absorb some impact where Dyneema and Spectra do not. So it's mandatory when you build this off your harness you use double length shoulder nylon runner. So I keep that bar tack an inch or two away from the end of the runner. Then I just kind of pinch it. I'm going to start the bottom loop on my harness, run it through the bottom loop, then I'm going to run it through the top loop, and then to complete that girth hitch, I'm going to pull the end through, pull it tight, double check where that bar tack is, make a note that it's not going to get in the way later. Then I have a locking carabiner on my belay loop on my harness. I'm going to clip the other end of the runner into that. I'm going to pull the whole thing out tight and then I want to find just kind of off the middle mark where I'm going to tie my flat overhand knot but I also want to make sure where I tie my knot is only pulling on the harness and then this end that goes to my belay loop is slack so I can unclip it when it's under tension. Once I locate that I'm going to go ahead and pinch that with my fingers. I'm going to unclip the beaner from the belay loop and the runner so I can uh, so it makes it easier to tie this. Then I'm gonna tie my flat overhand right where I had my pinch. Make sure that this knot is dressed. It needs to be dressed, okay? Take that end, clip it back into the car locking carabiner here on your harness. Take your rappel device and locking beaner, go in below the knot so when you weight it, once again you're weighting just the part that's girth hitched into your harness and this is loose. Okay, once you have that, to get this out of the way, you have a couple different options depending on your body size. What I have a tendency to do is clip the beaner with my belay device into my gear loop and then take the one that's on my belay loop and I can wrap it around behind me and back into the belay loop and then it's totally clean and out of the way and it's ready for me to use next time.